And that was the imperfection we referenced in the open for this Alabama team. And they'll throw on first down, a little play action. Second and long. Swing out to McClellan. And he finds just a couple. Anthony Orgy stops him after a gain of three. They're going to split out Swan. Davis will take the direct snap. And has nowhere to go. Henry Toe Toe breaks through for the tackle. It's a loss of four. This is going to be a run. He reads it, shoots the gap right away. That is a savvy player. No one as soon as that wild count. Just hasn't been that way for Bryce Young in this Alabama offense early on. But not because the opportunities haven't been there. Goes right back to Brooks who springs free on the sideline for a big game for Alabama. 24, 25 yard pickup. I want to keep everything in front of them, right? They're scared, even though Alabama hasn't been great at it. They don't want these guys running by them anytime you give Bryce Young free access, which means a lot of room. Bryce Young, six for six. Looking for Gibbs? No, looking for the end zone. Brooks again. Foot down, touchdown. What, four times in a row. Bryce goes back to Ja'Cory Brooks. Yeah. Did he have control of yeah. it when his left foot was down? Would be what the replay booth looks at. Or was the ball secured after the left foot came up? They took a quick look. And we are good to go, seemingly. Our favorite, Gerald Hodges, our replay official. Joseph Bullivis. And he drills it. Play action into the end zone. Touchdown, Alabama. Trayshawn Holden. Great protection up front. Little play action and just a corner out from the slot. Those are so effective down in the red zone because DBs are forced to play closer with no help over the top. I asked Pete down there, you think they'll play too? He goes, I hope they don't. Yeah. Rice taking a shot. It's Brooks again. Touchdown, Alabama. Rice has thrown his first one as well. It's a double move. Look at a little nod right there. Just freezes the DB, Tyson Russell, who's their best cover guy for a second. That's all you need, just a little hesitation. Did you fall off the mechanical bowl? Bryce Young looking deep. On the run, able to figure it out to Holden again. And into Vandy territory, pick up a 25. Anderson, got there! It was a simple foot race, and Will Anderson with the sack for Alabama. Is just leave him one-on-one -on -one with the left tackle, Gunnar Hansen. I mean, that just, you, you can't ask a left tackle on a third and long situation. McClellan, shoe fits fine, here he goes. Pass midfield, and a pick up a 26. Feathered hair and all. Nice young looking crossing route, and here's Jameer Gibbs out of the backfield. Best receiver on the team by numbers, and the running back still on his feet. And he will truck all the way inside the 10, down to the 7, 26-yard gain. To his left, he's trying to buy time, waiting for this double move to come out, but he's smart. Safety over the top, check it down to Jameer Gibbs, and this is where this offense gets really dangerous when they hit those. Looking for four. Gibbs out of the backfield, spin move, goal line, touchdown Alabama. Look at this, lead blocker 81 right there, one on one, number one's going to win that every time. And if I'm Joey Lynch, I would take notes last time you left Will Anderson one on one. Little game up front, Anderson got to him again. Waited for the traffic to clear. Destiny Boygby also there, and another sack for Alabama. They've run more two-plus tight end yep. sets than anybody in the SEC, if not the country. Kinstreet trying to make a move. 
He does so. Now he's trying to find the edge. Turn up field. Here's Kool-Aid McKinstry. And a sweet return into Vandy territory. Ball out late. Vanderbilt recovered it. Getting run down from behind is that. Ooh. Oh, out. Rocco Griffin, another guy that's a starting caliber SEC back in the backfield now next to A.J. Swan. He had a great close of the season. Toto coming up. Blitz, and it's a third sack of the game. Toto couldn't get there. D.J. Dale beat him to it. Bryce Young going deep. It is caught. Jermaine Burton. And Bama will have a chance with 10 ticks left and a timeout taken by the Tide after that 48-yard gain. He's watching Bryce Young. Doesn't even see or have a feel for Jermaine Burton as he runs right by him, anticipating maybe another short throw to try to pick up some yards and call a timeout. But your number one rule in two minutes like that when you're playing deep zone. From the right hash, and it is good. 31 to 3. Pretty cool weekend to be around the head coach as much as we were. On second and four. It was the easiest job Chris Stewart ever had. He didn't even have to talk. Wide open again, finding soft spots in that Vandy zone. It's Prentice. Cole does, did that better than anybody there right before halftime. He'll go with Williams again. And Roy Dell Williams is making the most of his second half opportunity. Rips off 13. When you knock a guy's mouthpiece to the ground, you've made solid contact. Not too attached here. And McClellan finds another hole. And he throws him to the ground. Touchdown from 12 yards out for Jace McClellan. Physical up front. Came into this game leading the country in yards per attempt, and that is a grown man stiff arm. Reminiscent of a Najee Harris, who yep. does that at the NFL level now, making grown men look like little children. Wasn't the tallest, wasn't the fastest, wasn't the strongest, but the guy just knew the game and knew how to play it well. They sack him again, converging on Swan, Will Anderson Jr., and Chris Braswell. I mean, mullets are back. They're fully back. Not the old, like, Kentucky waterfall, you know, where it's just real long in the back. But Jordan's fake bow up there before he hit Mark Perrin. Like, <laughs> he was going to attempt to run him over while in the air, yep. and it just didn't quite work. Here's Milrow with room to run. Got out of her skis a little bit, regained his balance, and he took it inside the five. Took down the Photog, too. All smiles knocked him right out of his hat. Oh, I thought I could run like this. I couldn't. Not many people can. 6'2", 212. Yeah, he's a freight train going downhill, and I was a, uh, a Honda Civic from <laughs> 1992 that needed an oil change or two. Just a great play design to attack where the defense is weakest down here in the low red zone. Alabama up 38. No longer. They will punch it in. Jamarian Miller. And that means a lot to a few. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.